News 4 and the San Antonio Police Department have joined forces to make this active shooter training video to give you the tools you'll need to increase your chances of survival should you ever find yourself in an active shooter situation. Thankfully, though, most of us never will. To be clear, this is not an anti-gun video, and by no means is the information in this video fail-proof. Some of the techniques you learn may need to be adapted to suit certain situations. Now, the sole purpose of this training video is to help empower you and motivate you to be proactive in developing your own plan. Know when it's time to run. Know where you're going to hide. And if necessary, be prepared to fight. typical day at work. You're sitting at your desk doing what you always do. And then you hear this. You're confused, shocked, scared. Stay calm, keep your composure, but move. Do not waste time. Trust your gut and go. It's time to run. Help others if you can and get out of the building oh, any on, way you on, can. Go on, go on, go on, Look for the closest exit and be aware of alternate exit routes. Oh, my gosh. Once you're outside, call 911 immediately. We're gonna need somebody here quick. The operator will need as much information as you can give them. The name of the building, the location, how many people may still be inside, how many may be hurt. They'll need suspect information, race, gender, a description of the suspect, is there more than one shooter, and what kind of weapon they're carrying. And if you see unsuspecting co-workers heading for the door, stop them from going inside. If you are not near an exit and you cannot safely get out of the building, it's time to hide. Get out of the hallways and common areas. Gunmen typically use them as hunting grounds. Find a room and lock the door. Block the door with whatever you can find. A desk, file cabinet, a printer. Turn off the lights, radios, monitors, and silence your cell phone. Do your best to hide behind something big enough that may shield you from bullets. If you or someone with you is bleeding, apply pressure and try to elevate the wound. Help may not arrive until the shooter is stopped. As hard as it may be, don't try to rescue anyone on the other side of that door. You don't know where the shooter is. He could be right up the hallway. And you don't want to place anyone else inside this room in any danger. Also, he could be trying to trick you into opening that door by pretending to be someone who needs help. Stay down, stay quiet. Create a sense that no one is inside that room. If there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, be prepared to fight. There is strength in numbers. If you are with a group, organize an ambush-style surprise attack and grab anything you can find to hurt the shooter and defend yourself. Your number one priority should be to do whatever it takes to stop the gunman immediately. If possible, take control of the weapon. If he lets the weapon go or can't control it, you've won more than half the battle. Whatever you decide to do, make sure your actions are swift and decisive. Hesitation can be deadly in a situation like this when seconds count. If you have a concealed handgun license and have your own gun, choose your actions carefully. Make sure no co-workers are behind the shooter or you. You don't want to accidentally shoot someone or have the gunman return fire and hit someone behind you. And protect your weapon. He may fight you for it. Remember, if you do decide to fight, you'll be fighting for your life. Your goal should be to win by any means necessary. When police arrive, stay right where you are. There could be a gun battle. Keep your hands up and visible at all times. Do not make sudden moves. Do not approach an officer. His number one priority is to take down the shooter and end the threat. You may be searched, even handcuffed by police. Until law enforcement is certain the threat no longer exists, you are to do exactly as they say until you're let out of the building.
Again, these are only guidelines. Some of the techniques you've seen here may need to be modified to better suit your workplace or even your own home. And one last piece of advice here. Create an alert system for employees via social media sites like Twitter and Facebook. If there is an active shooter situation, think about who will be in charge of sending out those alerts. The bottom line, have an emergency plan in place and practice it often. The odds of you becoming a victim of an active shooter situation are low. But if it does happen, you'll be more prepared. On behalf of News 4 San Antonio and the San Antonio Police Department, be safe and thanks for watching.